Hi friends, this is Bilal Heather and this is my 29th video lecture on expert advisors. In this video, I'll be talking about the RSI indicator which is um, called Relative Strength Index. Okay, so in this video, I'll be um, teaching you about this indicator. First, I'll tell you something about how you can use this indicator for your trading and then we'll uh, write an expert advisor um, um, to trade automatically for us. Okay, now let's go ahead and add this indicator um, to our chart. Um, go to oscillators and click relative strength index uh, and <coughs> it has a uh, one argument which is called period and the second argument is the applied price okay for this tutorial i'll be um, uh, apply uh, this indicator to the close price and the period I'll use is it's nine period okay so click OK and here you will see this RSI indicator with um, um, right here it has certain levels like 30 level 50 70 and so on for this in for this tutorial um, will uh, will be using this level which is called the 70 and 30 okay so whenever um, the this indicator values this indicators value um, is higher than this 70 level and it comes back down and it um, it goes below this level um, like in here it was previously above 70 um, like here it was 72 and then it came back it came down to uh, it came down below this um, particular this uh, 70 level so this is the time to sell okay so whenever this happens you enter a sell position or sell trade okay i'm using this m1 chart so with m1 chart your take profit value will be not more than two three pips okay so and for buy condition for buy trades you have to um, see this 30 level for example right here um, if the if this uh, indicators value the RSI value is less than 30 and then it comes back up and it goes above this value above this level which is 30 and it goes above this level you enter a buy position or buy trade okay so if the value is above 70 and goes below 70 you place a sell trade if the value of this indicator is less than 30 and it goes above this 30 level you place a buy trade okay so this is the strategy um, when using this RSI indicator now let's go ahead and write our function for this um, this particular indicator as you can see here I have already created a new expert advisor and I called it RSI okay so and I also have written this function um, I called it RSI and its return type is boolean and I have written this um, function um, this predefined function which returns uh, this indicators value at certain candle okay for this tutorial we'll be needing two um, two variables 
um, because we want to know um, we'll take two candles into our consideration um, for example <coughs> As you can see right here at this candle at this particular candle the value of RSI is greater than 70 and at this candle it is still greater than 70 okay and when you come to this candle right here <coughs> it's less than um, 70 okay so we'll take these uh, the two candles uh, which are together and we'll check if the previous candle here if this candle is above 70 and this candle is uh, below 70 then we will place a sell trade okay so <coughs> let's make two variables and double um, R1 and R2 okay so let me tell you something about this function <coughs> well this function takes um, 1 2 3 4 5 um, arguments the first argument it takes is the symbol the second argument it takes is the time frame the third argument it takes is the period let's make a period variable here and provide <coughs> provide it as an input for the user <coughs> so that he can <coughs> input certain value if he wants to change this value because when you will use this um, this indicator with higher time frames you should use the higher value of <coughs> RSI like <coughs> 14 15 or whatever uh, the value you want to use with higher time frames okay so the fourth argument it takes is the price with which this indicator will be applied to for this uh, particular tutorial I'll be applying it to the close price you can also apply um, it to um, the open low or typical or whatever the price you want to apply to okay so let's copy this and paste it let's uh, set it equal to R1 and this uh, equals to R2 okay for R1 we'll be using the very last candle so we'll be uh, writing 0 in here and for R2 we'll be using this particular candle which is uh, before this last candle so 0 1 2 3 whatever so this will be at index 1 so we'll write one in here okay so now let's make condition if <coughs> if r2 which is this uh, which is this one here this one is r2 the value of this indicator at this candle is r2 if R2 is greater than 70 and R1 is less than 70 what we want to do we want to return true okay because we'll be um, sorry will return false okay because we want to place a sell trade when this uh, this thing happens okay so else if r2 is um, <coughs> 
this one is r2 this one is r1 so if r2 is less than 30 r2 is less than 30 and r1 is <coughs> greater than 30 we want to return true because uh, we wanted to place a by order if this if this thing happens okay else return and t value so <coughs> now we have uh, written this function uh, to use it in our expert advisor so whenever this condition will be um, will be confirmed and this function will return false and we will place a cell trade and when this condition will be true uh, we will return true and we will place a buy trade okay so let's use it in our start function right here let's make a boolean type variable and let's call it bill and bill equals this function let's copy it and paste it right here put a semicolon now if bill equals true close cell open by else if bill equals false close by and open cell so <clears throat> this is all for this tutorial um, I think um, now you know how to use RSI indicator in your expert advisors you can make uh, a function uh, which can perform certain tasks also um, you can make certain changes in the strategy if you want to place a buy trade when this RSI indicator crosses its 50 level you can do that um, like if RSI is greater than 50 you want to place a buy order and <clears throat> you can search in Google um, to find out more strategies which are using RSI indicator and you can convert them into an expert advisor okay use these uh, use these two fun these this function to get the value of RSI indicator and then later on you can use that to, um, by writing um, a code like this okay so <coughs> This is all for the tutorial. Um, thank you for watching the tutorial. Keep watching my tutorials.